Yo guys, so a while back a subscriber suggested that I sample the 1966 Batman theme song. I was busy doing a lot of things before, but I've got time now, so let's do that today. So if you haven't heard the theme song, aka if you're living under a rock, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, we're gonna flip that today. Do like 180 around BPM. I'm gonna stretch this so that it's basically half time. And then I'm gonna pitch it up three semitones. It kind of sounds villainous now. Start adding effects to this. Um, it's very low quality because I stretched it to be twice as long. There's like a lot of artifacts in it, so I'm gonna throw on a distortion just to lean into like the lo-fi quality of it. Take out a lot of lows. Let's get one more EQ in here. It's kind of harsh frequencies around this area. And then stereo enhancer, make it really wide. I'm also gonna take this section. This part is really harsh. I'm gonna have to take out a lot of the frequency range. I'll create an automation clip for this EQ to be on during just this section. All right, let's start getting drums now. I could kind of hear a groove in my head. For the sample, I'm also going to add a tape stop to the very beginning, make it start here, I think. Alright, need an 808 now. like that it's kind of groovy at the end of this measure I kind of want two of these and then stretch this twice as short let me make a second pattern do something like this and then this 808 pattern also different So a second hat here. And then we'll have a second half here. Going into it, we'll take the drums out. We'll introduce something new in this section. Maybe like an electric guitar. Have I ever done that yet on this channel? Gonna assign it a mixer track and then throw on a distortion, the preamp all the way up, and then threshold like maybe here. But then add hardcore, which comes with FL Studio. Turn these off, distortion all the way down on the distortion pedal. And it's super loud, so I'm gonna get a limiter and turn it down first. So now it sounds like that. I'm gonna get a reverb. And I'm actually gonna put it under the distortion and the hardcore so that the reverb itself gets affected by the distortion. Then I'm gonna get like an EQ, take out all those harsh frequencies, including the lows and highs. And then a sausage fat. And then I don't really want this one too wide because the sample is already very stereo. So I'm gonna make the stereo separation more to the mono side. So there's the electric guitar, doesn't sound great, but once you have it layered with a bunch of other things and you add bends in the notes, then it sounds more realistic. So first I gotta come up with a melody, give me a second to do that. I 
kind of like that little riff. I'm just gonna copy, paste it. And then for this one, maybe just copy this part. Yeah, I like that melody. I need like a pattern to go into this guitar because it just comes out of nowhere. Oh, and then I'm gonna clone this, use the second one, bring it up an octave. It's kind of lit. Is there anything else we can use from this sample? I do want to use that like, that choir of people singing Batman. Like that. Maybe we just take Bat, make that unique. super bouncy. Um, I'm gonna pitch it down an octave. Sounds kind of annoying at the moment. Now that it just sounds like a barking dog, but I kind of like it. I want another tape stop here. Make this one really fast, maybe 50, and trigger it somewhere here. These two. And then I need a home note for the guitar. And make it bend down an octave. Um, you know what we could also do? make this guitar a little bit more realistic as well is clone the guitar and then for the second version of the guitar the voice pitch just raise this so that there's like vibrato like maybe that much so it's like a vibrato note on the guitar <coughs> bless me uh now i just gotta find which notes i want to be vibrated i think i want all of these notes yeah so just control x and then control V. And then I'll do the same for the octave up guitar. Uh, this part, we can take out some of the sample, let the guitar shine. lit for this last 808 pattern I'm just gonna make this unique and then do this make it bend down just for the last pattern Make the kick a little harder. I just want to add like one more thing maybe. A reverse snare. Like this. Just reverse it. Um, I think that's going to be it for today guys. If you guys like the video, please like the video. Comment, subscribe. Doing those three things lets YouTube know that this is a video that people like and the algorithm will show my video to more people. So that would be very greatly appreciated for my channel. Sorry, just new Kanye tweet. I also want to thank everyone that's been listening to the album, Coming of Age. It really warms my soul to know that people love our music. So yeah, keep streaming that if you already are. If you aren't, I'll leave the link in the description again. And so yeah, go listen to that. But anyway, I'm going to fix this up, do a little tweaks here and there. And you guys are going to hear the song at the end of the video, which should be right 